Tomorrow night, these 15 men can't afford to lose. A defeat to Australia would mean England are effectively finished at the first stage of their own tournament. But that could cost a lot more than the pride of English players. For the team, the games are everything. For UK PLC, they're just the beginning. In this rugby merchandise store, if you want to get your hands on the number one seller, well, there is only one official England shirt left. It's the red one, I'm afraid, and it's the right size for an eight-year-old. And there are lots of businesses which do well when England do well. So a loss in the stadium could well mean losses in the city too. On average, after a major rugby defeat, the market falls by 0.15% the next day. You might think 0.15%, is that a big deal? But apply to the UK stock market, that's £3 billion wiped off the market on a single day. England have spent four years preparing for a tournament which isn't going their way. But theirs is called the group of death for a reason. And after losing to Wales last week, this is a team and a manager under pressure. The work's done. The work's done in a week. Um, the guys are getting ready for a game like tomorrow night emotionally and mentally. They know what's at stake. When England's footballers went home early from the World Cup last year, the pubs emptied. But the beer industry's insisting that won't happen this time. I think we'll serve over 25 million extra pints. It's worth over 80 million to the pub industry. I think the support around the country will still be there and people will still want to watch the Rugby World Cup in a pub. England's Rugby World Cup journey has never finished at the first stage before. The host country would be delighted by a win tomorrow, and so would its coffers. Dominic Reynolds, 5 News.